Hello, caller. Thank you for calling Call the Doctor. What's your question? Uh, my question is, does a poisonous snake bite require a certain specific antivenom for that particular snake, or is antivenom uh, across the board uh, good for all snake, uh, that's a, snakes? That's a really excellent question. In fact, we have a little toy here to help yeah, demonstrate yeah, yeah. what antivenom really is and how it works. Uh, and then uh, once we demonstrate that, give us an example or answer this question specifically, does the antivenom that's at NASH cover all snake bites? So there, there's two antivenoms that are basically FDA approved for all North American pit vipers. There's a separate antivenom for coral snakes that, that occur like in the southern part of the snake and sort of more in the south. Uh, eastern part of the United States, but 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 antivenom is basically like a lot of antivenoms are derived from from immunoglobulins, and so it's a an immunoglobulin is a Y-shaped molecule, and you know venom, you know, and what it does is basically is it is it binds to uh, it binds to the to the venom, and then it you know it neutralizes it and facilitates the elimination from the body. And so when when the antivenom comes into the uh, to the uh, antibody, yeah. uh, it become, it renders it ineffective by binding it. That's right. And then your body naturally gets rid of it. That's exactly so, right. So this is what's in the bottle in the emergency room. Well, this. Well, okay, right. This is yeah. supposed to be this venom, is the, right? This is the venom. And so we, we inject this, they're bound together, and they're, they're rendered useless and right. the body excretes it. And there's an antivenoms, these are like, you know, you can divide up this molecule and you can make it to where, you know, it's more uh, it clears in a different sort of pharmacokinetics, but that's probably beyond the scope of this lecture. But yeah, that's an, this is a whole immunoglobulin, but you can use just parts of this immunoglobulin to bind the antivenom. It has a different sort of profile. Good, great. That's, now, uh, so to answer his question, right. up here in, in eastern North Carolina, um, there's two available antivenoms for uh, snake bite. And any kind of any pit viper that comes in, it's gonna, they're going to be FDA approved for for treatment of those pit viper bites. Mm -hmm.